up, fishing freaks? So we're gonna start to, uh, we're gonna, I just came to this little pond near my house today, and uh, honestly, I'm really excited about fishing. I wanted to come out here, guys. I'm gonna be pumping out, uh, pumping out a lot of videos in these next couple days. Man, I already see action right here, guys, in the in the water. Uh, I got my little friend Ethan on me. He he uh, he liked my uh, my YouTube my YouTube idea so much. Obviously, it's not my original idea. We got to thank John B for that one. <laughs> but but he liked uh, he, he wanted to get his own camera too, so he got one. And and so I'll, I'll leave his uh, channel in the description in, in a little bit. But man, it's just a beautiful little spot. Looks like a little honey hole. There's all kinds of weeds and all kinds of stuff for for bass fishing. So. Uh, the temperature is about 80 degrees, not too cold, not too uh, fresh, and not too warm. And uh, we've got some overcast, as you can see. So uh, I, I'm pretty optimistic that we're gonna slay the hell out of them today. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah, stay tuned. So uh, we're gonna go for some largies for like 30 minutes, and then, uh, and then if we don't get any largies, and like. 30 minutes I'm gonna switch over to getting some bluegill because there's monster bluegill here so that's what we're gonna try to get I got myself these new soft baits I love the way these look matches the forge perfectly here with some chartreuse garlic dip for the tail and that's what we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna mess them up today guys Ugh. Ugh. I shouldn't have put that in my mouth it's got garlic spray on it so guys I'm gonna rig this thing up perfectly Perfect little Texas rig. We're gonna spray some chartreuse on there to get that chartreuse color, which I think will get the attention of these bass. All right guys, so I got it all set up with a little chartreuse tail. And uh, this little worm seems like it's gonna work really good here. It matches the forage perfectly. Perfect way to birth this on the first time. What I'm doing guys is I toss it right outside that weed line and I'm just bringing it back slowly. Uh, my guess right now is that they're gonna want it pretty slowly because of the conditions. It's a little hot so uh, that's my, what I'm thinking that's gonna, what's gonna work. Let me leave this in here really quick, um, just for a little bit, really quick, while I yep. while I while I help Ethan out. Yep. And I'll uh, let me set Ethan up. So I'm gonna set him up, guys. So got my buddy Ethan. I'm gonna show him how to fish a, a Ned rig. Okay, look, Ethan. So you're gonna cast it out there, and then look. You see the way it looks like that? Yeah. You bounce it up a little bit, and then it it goes. That's the action you want. So look. So let me make your first cast for you. So you just. You grab it and then you just, you just, there we go. By the time it hits the water, that fish already knows that something's there. You don't have to. So it's all a matter of presenting it to him. I'm gonna show uh, my viewers what these bluegill look like. Cause these are beautiful bluegill. Some of the most beautiful bluegill I've ever seen. All right guys, so this is what I'm gonna be doing. A little jig head with a micro light, with a super micro light rod. It's super fun to fight those fish on a micro light. You think I'll get my hat? So you just Please? bunch up the bread. You put it on there, put it on the jig head. And right there. That is how you fish for those bluegill. Toss it back out there right there. Just waiting for that bluegill guys. They're biting it. Oh shoot. <laughs> I ripped the This is small, Ethan, but look at how pretty this is. Is it you guys? Look at how beautiful the colors are on that guy. Give me a kiss. Mm. Look at how beautiful that is. I'm going to show. L just look at the colors on this thing. Caught this nice little bluegill. Oh, yeah, it's super beautiful. James. Just just such a beautiful bluegill. I'm going to release him right here. Bye, little man. Name him. God, that's a beautiful little fish. So tell the camera what happened. What? About what happened when I caught it. Oh, yeah. It just flew out. It was like, it jumped up and it landed on the grass. It was going crazy. Give it up, gonna be all right. Got one. Got 
one on the ultralight. Look at that. That guy's a fighter. The one I had wasn't a fighter. No, I want to see what happens if I get it near. Look at that. Oh, I think that's a crappie. It might be. No, it's not. Don't slip. He choked him. Good boy. <laughs> I threw he choked it, guys. Look at that. That's a pretty one. Look at the colors in that one. Yeah, I know. Look at that. Beautiful, like a snake. Ooh. Don't get too close. Guys, gonna get a quick little release on him. We're looking for something a little bit bigger. Nah, I don't need that. Watch, now watch. <laughs> Your dogs will probably lick it. Oh yeah, that's what I need it. Yeah. Watch, well, see, watch, got a nice little one. Watch how he gets to go up there. Watch how he gets to the hookout. Watch how he gets to the hookout. Go up there, kiddo. Watch how he gets to the hookout. Yeah, just get it out. Just see? See? Oh, damn. <laughs> he got himself good. good. Yeah. How would you do this? Just kind of like... Yeah. The, pre the pressure's on me because people are watching. No, I'm yeah, kidding. Yeah. <laughs> see? Oh, yeah. He's really go. loose. Look, see? He got the fish out. Now he got the hook out. Now he's going to go put the fish back so he can catch it again later. Right? Heck yeah. Just caught this little guy right here out of this spot. They're absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to release him right here into the wild, nice and quietly. That way he can go and enjoy him his the rest of his life. Ah, what a beautiful fish. Beautiful colors. Let me see. Oh, damn, no. Okay, wait. I want to release them like they do on TV. Yeah. Alright, guys, we're going to try oh, to get one right here. He stole their bait. He stole their bait. Here, give him his sunglasses back so he can see it right here. This is Maverick and this is Max. Oh, I got one. Oh, I got one. Oh, look, he's got a big one on. He got a big one. Oh, hey, watch it. You're going to poke me. Got that little one, guys. Look. look at that one. That's a good one. Yeah. Look at that. And what is that one? That's a bluegill. It's a bluegill. That's what it's called. A bluegill. That's cool, huh? I got a little bit wet. <laughs> yeah, you got a little wet on your face. How old is she? She's five. Five. Yeah. No, just grab them tight. Grab it, kiddo. Yeah. Grab it, kiddo. Now go, go to the water real gently and put them in there. Yeah, look. I'm gonna fish these now. There you go. You can just toss them in there. Yeah, there we go. All right. Yeah. Okay, what do you say? Thank you, Mr. James. Thank you, Mr. James. Watch your step, though. We're gonna step on the pole. I feel old. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm gonna be fishing this little guy right here. Kind of like a little Texas rig. I don't know what this, like a little fluke, maybe. And this is what we're going to fish. I saw a bass jump this way. I'm going to get myself on a bass. I saw a bass jump over there. Yeah. See, that's a turtle. I think. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that'd be good These for the... turtles are Oh, man. He got a turtle. That'd be good. Oh, no, it's a bass. A bass? Yes. Hello. That one. Wow. Look at that. Solo. How, yeah. what, 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 did you just put it? They eat bacon. Yeah, they eat that. This one had a little perch on it. See that? Oh, so you caught a little bluegill and put it on there? Yeah. James? Yes, sir. I got to see it once, but then after that, it won't come back out. Which one? No. The one from, from here. Really? It's on there. Yeah, and then. Uh, no, you gotta you gotta go down, and I, I'm there yeah. with the fish. Yeah. yeah. And then I saw you. I think I'm a deal, right? There's no boy right here. Yeah. Ethan, look what I got. I, I think I got a bass. Yeah, I got a. Oh, got a bass. On a piece of bacon too, guys. Got one on a piece of bacon. On a piece of bacon. That's crazy. He got a. He got a piece of bacon, guys. Bacon. Good fish. Oh my gosh. 
Whoa, good fish, guys. A big fat fish. Heck yeah. Yep. On a, on a piece one. of bacon, guys. On a little piece of bacon. On a little piece of bacon. That's Look at that. That's a raw big one. That's a big one. I never seen one of those before. Hi, Grace. Look, show, show. Yeah. This one's Here, a beauty. Here, I'll, I'll take a picture of you. All right, guys. Got my bass on, 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 on bacon out of all things. Okay, so. Uh, I fought really hard to get this guy and I got him on a little piece of bacon, so uh, that's pretty much it. We're gonna get a nice little release on him. What the heck is that? Okay. Alright guys, so we're gonna get a little release on this guy. Whoa. Okay. We're gonna get like a nice little... No! We're gonna... No, he'll be fine, look. I, I wanna get a release like they do in the video in the movies. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so yeah, that's what happened today, guys. Um, I caught, you know, a couple bluegill, a lot of bluegill actually, and then I caught uh, one bass. I was going for bluegill, and I caught a bass on a piece of bacon. They didn't bite when I was throwing the senko or throwing other baits. So, um, yeah, so that's what happened, guys. And I caught it, and I hope you guys like this episode. Uh, I try to get as much footage as possible. Obviously, of course, uh, you know, the bite wasn't too good today, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun making this video. I hope you guys liked the B-roll. And if you guys haven't, please hit that subscribe button and please hit the uh, the bell icon. That way you guys get notifications of when I post videos. I should be doing a lot of videos in the next couple months because of, my, uh, because of the semester is ending. And uh, I try to make my videos better and better each time. So I hope you guys like my videos. I hope you guys can show your support by commenting, giving some positive feedback and constructive feedback. And I will uh, take any advice. And I'll also uh, make sure to, to take any suggestions for future videos. Guys, thank you so much. And the reason I, I do a lot of vlogging within my videos is because I want to grow a dialogue with my supporters. I want to grow a dialogue with you guys. And I want and I want to get to know you guys. So please uh, let me know in the uh, in the comments below if you have uh, a YouTube channel yourself. That way I can subscribe and hit the bell icon. That way when you post, I'll be one of the first ones to be out there and commenting on your videos. And that way when I post, you guys can comment on my videos and give me that thumbs up. Again, thanks so much. Again, shout out to everybody who came out on the video today. Just random people. That's what I love about the sport. That you just meet random people and, and you become friends with them. It, it's just it's just the best thing, guys. It's the best feeling in the world. But anyways, have a great time, guys. And I'll see you guys on the next episode of Fishing with James Hunt. Wait, guys. Like I said, hit that like button. And if you didn't like it, don't hit anything.